like to celebrate the achievements of some of our eighth grade students for this year. This year has been a little different for all of us, but we hope you enjoy our program. It is my honor to present the 2019-2020 Teacher of the Year at Withorn Middle School to Ms. Heather Robertson. Heather has been with us since 2012 and she has taught seventh and eighth grade science. She has a passion for science and an animal owner herself and a farm girl, she shares those passions with her students. She served as Withorn Middle School's cheerleading coach for several years. She has also been instrumental in creating and maintaining a greenhouse here at Withorn Middle School. She has sold plants out of her greenhouse before, and she's currently working on getting that greenhouse back up and running due to some flooding. She's very hands-on with her students and takes the standards of science well beyond state expectations. Heather has completed her master's degree in December and will be starting her doctoral program very soon. In her spare time, Heather and her husband, Josh, enjoy doing farm work, goat things, and sport things with her sons, Bo and Chad. Ms. Robertson, Withorn Middle School truly loves and appreciates you being with us and the job that you do. Congratulations. Hi, I'm Sandra Posey, the visual arts teacher at Withorn Middle School. This year's art award goes to a very talented young lady, Brooke Mason. Brooke, you've been a great student, a joy to work with, and I wish you the best at Central. Congratulations. Hello everybody, my name is Mr. Martin. I'm one of the band directors here at Whitthorn Middle School and today I'd like to present the male band award for this year for our eighth graders. Uh, this award will be going to a young man that has been a part of many different uh, ensembles that we have at our school. They've been a part of not only our concert band but jazz band, our uh, percussion ensemble, and has always um, given it their best, has learned other instruments as well. And uh, with no further ado, I'd like to present our eighth grade male band award to none other than Jamarian Ogilvy. Hi everybody, my name is Austin Vogt. I'm one of the band directors here at Withorn Middle School. We are giving away our eighth grade band member, female band member of the year to an um, eighth grade band member who's very deserving. She is someone that is an exemplary student for those that know her. She is someone that's consistently been on the honor roll. She is one of the most genuinely kind people I've ever met. For those that uh, may not be aware, she is someone that actually struggled with a lot of challenges early on in the band. She's someone that had some difficulties that other people may have given up and they may have been defeated by it. And some people may have even uh, negatively affected others around them because of their struggles. But instead, she chose to treat it as a challenge that she overcame and did it with either a smile on her face or a look of determination and worked really hard with a tireless work ethic and overcame those challenges and inspired the rest of the members of the concert band to work just as hard with just as much positivity, positivity as she did. This year's 8th grade Female Band Member of the Year Award goes to Mary Elizabeth Neese, who is very deserving and I hope she, I, I look forward to seeing her inspire others to overcome um, adversity in the future and I know she's going to be a, um, go on to do great things in the future. Congratulations, Mary. Hi, I'm Rachel Reinhardt and I'll be giving out four awards this year. My first award is the Determination Award for working extremely hard during the student's time at WMS while in my classroom. This student began working to strengthen his legs last year by standing for 10 minutes at a time. Now he's able to stand for 58 minutes, which is a great challenge to him. Congratulations, Dylan Ray, for your determination. The second award I'd like to give out is the Friendliness Award. This student goes, uh, knows no stranger. He greets everyone with a smile I will miss his smile next year. Congratulations, Davion Horton. 
The next award is the Bravery Award. This goes to a student who has overcome challenges this year. This student joined my class after fall break and quickly learned our rules and procedures. She adapted to her new school, making many new friends. This award goes to Cheyenne Osborne. And finally, my MVP, the Most Valuable Person Award, goes to a student who has been reliable, trustworthy, and always willing to help in any way that he can. I know I can always count on him. Zachary Barnes, you will definitely be missed next year. Thank you all and I've enjoyed your time here with me at Whitthorn. Hi guys, welcome to our virtual 8th grade awards. Um, it's always hard when I go to think about all my students and give out the 8th grade ELA award for my classes. And I always look for the kid who really has to work hard and who really, they don't start out as an A student. They have to work and they have to struggle. And there was one kid that did that and is the epitome of an 8th grade ELA student in my opinion. And that young man is Krish Patel. Krish, I'm so proud of you. I'm so proud of all the hard work you did this year. Thank you for being a perfect example of what an ELA student should do and should be. Congratulations. Please come back and see me. Have a wonderful, wonderful high school career. Hey guys, um, every year when I think about my ELA award, there's always one student that puts forward just a little bit more effort. Um, and I had one of those students this year. Um, a funny story about this student. Another teacher assigned the student detention. I was doing detention that week. And the student asked me if it was going to affect them getting into college. And I thought it was so funny. Um, but my English award goes to Haley Beck this year. She has worked so hard on all her ELA work and always does the best job that she can. Congratulations, Haley. Every year it's really difficult to decide who to give my social studies award to. And this year I had several worthy people who competed for that award, several of you that completed your Green Dot Challenge, um, and grades that were so close that I could not go just by grades. Uh, my eighth grade social studies award, I'm proud to say, goes to Eleonora Slusser. So to pick just one of the students from my classes was not an easy task for the Social Studies Award, um, but I have one student who really kind of went above and beyond to understand what we were trying to learn. He was always excited when he came in the door, ready to participate. Um, he was willing to see another side, a different perspective, and that's something that's really important when we're studying American history and history in general. So my Social Studies Award, I am so happy to say, goes to Kevin Salcedo. Congratulations, and I know you're going to do amazing things. For my Science Award, I look for certain traits in a student when I'm choosing an award. I don't care too much about the grade, you know. This student had tied for the highest grade in my class. I'm more concerned for the character traits of my, my kids. The student I'm awarding has consistently displayed these merits throughout the whole year. She is kind and respectful, honest, willing to work hard, and understand that what she does now uh, will pay off later in life. It displays just a positive attitude through everything. That's why I'm giving Ella Duvall my science award. Congratulations. This year, choosing one student for the science award was extremely difficult. I did choose one though, and it goes to an extremely bright young man who always had great questions and interesting contributions to the class. Lucas Duggar is the 2020 Science Award winner. Congratulations. Hey guys, this year's eighth grade math awards are going to students who all, all worked hard consistently throughout the year. The algebra award is going to Kyla Rowling, and the math awards are going to Kevin Walker and Haley Watson. Congrats. Every year it's a big struggle to decide who will be our 8th grade student of the year. Um, we look for a lot of characteristics in this person of which you will be hearing about the specific student of the year. Um, our student of the year four years ago was Chandler Michael who would have been giving you a pep talk about what to expect in high school. Um, I'm sure his thoughts are with you all. And this year's student of the year, we're excited to see you in four years as you come back to Whitthorn and give us a speech. This student is a phenomenal leader. I saw this person play soccer. Uh, the person was extremely encouraging to the teammates. The student is always kind and respectful. Just treats others just extremely well. I'm so proud of it. 
I had this student in class, and although my subject area was not this person's favorite, they did work very hard and became one of the top ELA students this year. This year's Student of the Year is... Weston Lewis!